it's springtime. This is an island where perpetually it's springtime. You are on Pathé Pictorial's magic carpet once more. So tap your feet to the springtime rhythm of the dance. Just five jet hours away from the worries of our workaday world, this is a place where life means music and the mellow movement of a dance passed down through unchanging ages. Where life means sunshine and color embroidered together here, where making dance dresses is the most urgent lesson in the infant schools. Not long ago, there were no schools on this wonder island. Now, all round the year, the sun is the head teacher. And lessons are all in the open air. There's little these islanders need to learn, beyond making sunshade hats and tying up tomatoes, so that they can export their winter sunshine in tasty shape to people who know what those strange things called frost and wintry rain can really mean. Aren't you glad you took this magic carpet ride to an island where great plantations of bananas reach right down from the old volcanic rocks to the very fringe of the deep blue sea? Bananas grow to tree height in a single season when you cut them down and start again with the ground level sprouts they produce. Every single one has to have its flower cut away from it or it will never mature as a fruit. But for the rest, you can let nature do all your fruit-producing work. No weeds can thrive in the cool shade of the banana leaf. The young bananas droop from their red seed pods. They turn a half circle upwards as they mature. And there's no set season. Bananas grow all the year round here, where it's always spring. They're picked green for easy handling, not canary yellow as we know them, which is surprising, because these are Canary Island bananas, and this is the exciting travel center of the fabulous Canary Isles. London, Leicester, Liverpool. They're all long, long light years away from the peace of this place. Yet you can be back there this afternoon. Las Palmas Airport. It's deceiving. It's also streamlined and modernistic. So 20th century and busy, it's hard to realize that it is the gateway to simple tranquility. The Romans discovered this island and called it Canaris, the Isle of Dogs. The Spaniards conquered it and brought in donkeys to bring farming up to date. There was a bit of a rain shower here, three or four years ago. For water, they depend on a few precious springs. Contrasts, island of contrasts. The savage coastline, the civilized beach. You've got your choice of beaches here on this holiday island. Beaches where you fight with great waves for sheer happiness, and beaches where you fight for the bare necessities of life. The Isle of Eternal Springtime has become the rough, romantic sort of island you find off the Irish coast, where strange, forgotten people have to grapple with the elements for their existence. Without knowing it, without having any standard of comparison, they're poor, these fisherfolk. Poor by our civilized standards, but rich perhaps 
in the reality of their experience. Only a few of the fishermen own nets. The others get a smaller share of the catch, sardines for the most part, and chancy to say the least. They live on bread, wild olives and an odd banana on those days when the nets are empty. But no one starves in a land of endless springtime. You wash your clothes in the water that comes from some fissure in the old volcanic rock. You dry them in the sun that shines all through the winter, or in the soft trade wind that tempers the summer heat. You live, it may be, in caves carved out into elaborate dwelling places, here where you never need more than a one blanket covering at night. Try to exchange a semi-detached suburban house in Coventry or Cardiff for one of these caves in the Canary Islands, and quite honestly, the cave dwellers will laugh in your face. This, they will tell you, and you may enviously agree with them, is the simple, happy way of life that God ordained. Every vista is a throbbing surprise, a dancing delight to any visitor. So tap your feet once more to that springtime rhythm that beckoned you when our magic carpet first transported you to the Canary Islands and their dancing loveliness. Unalto. 